Hello guys, today we're going to be working with the Magic Wand ATP meter. I do apologize in advance for any phone ringing or voices that you hear in the background as I'm working in the office. So here's what you get in the box. So um, first of all, when you get the box, um, you should have the ma uh, Magic Wand sticker on it, make sure it's good to go. It's been verified by me and Inside the box, we have our ATP meter operational manual with all the goodies and information that you might have, even after I'm done with this video, which I doubt it. But then you get your pouch with your ATP meter inside. Let's put it to the side. Inside, you're either going to get two batteries, like loose batteries, or they might already be on the inside the ATP meter. You get a strap to hold your pouch. And you have two swabs, complementary swabs um, for your testing. Again, for those of you, of you guys who don't know, the ATP meter is meant to test bacteria and basically dirt on any given surface that you apply it on. But yeah, that's the box. Let's get to the ATP meter. We have inside the pouch. Here's what your meter looks like. When you first turn it on, you'll see that um, it will start calibrating and counting down from 30 seconds, um, which is normal. Do not get an alarm. Every time you turn your, your meter on, it's going to calibrate. Let's just wait for that to get done. Also, when you first get it, or if you don't use it for a long, long time, it'll ask, um, to set the time and the date, but it should be living with the correct time and date, um, Eastern time when leaving the office. And I can show you how to um, set that up. So let's say you do get it and you want to set your own time and date. We're gonna press the T button right here. And we're going to play, uh, press the asterisk button right here. And you'll see like the 16, um, Flashing once you set that time you're gonna use the up and down arrows to set the time that you want it and press ok Then the minutes up and down keys again press ok and so on so you see how the date is flashing now The month the year and then once you're done with everything you press ok one last time it goes back to the main screen so what information are you seeing on the display so here you're seeing on the top your program and you see how it says zero zero that's your program number you can actually set different thresholds for different program numbers um let me look at the phone for different program numbers so you don't have to keep resetting it every time so for example for us we have it um at 20 and 10 that's our threshold numbers so anything that's 20 and above you're gonna get a fail mark somewhere down here Anything between 20 and 10, you're gonna get a warning somewhere down here. And then anything between 10 and below, um, you're gonna get a a pass symbol right to the left of here. Um, so yeah, this number right here, the zero zero, that's a program number you're in. Uh, with this meter, it has a good feature that it actually stores your results. So this number that says zero 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 right here, once you start, start testing, the numbers keep going up and up and up. And every time you do a test, it's gonna add a new number. Um, you're able to store up to 99 results before the memory is full. Um, and then each result, you can also see the, the time and the date that it was done, which is good to show your customers the results before and after your cleaning. And you can actually reset the memory after every test. So, with that being said, let's do a quick test um, and show you what I'm talking about. So, inside you get these swabs from hygiene, I believe. Um, so, basically, what you want to do is just open it up. Um, let's say my keyboard, right? I use my keyboard a lot. I do not clean it a lot, but I do use it a lot. You want to swab very thoroughly. Swab, 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 swab. And 
once you got that you want to just place it back in the container you want to break the top part until the fluid comes down and then just shake 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 it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it agitate it for three seconds and put it inside the meter and then once it's in close the tab press ok it's going to calibrate and give you a result all right so we have a 17. so you see how you have an exclamation mark right here that's because it's between 10 and 20. so um once you wipe it down or clean it down without our disinfectant or any disinfectant um then you go ahead and repeat the process but you have to first leave the screen so you press ok remove the swab and you know retest and redo the same process we just did for this one so i've had questions where people are asking me how do i change the threshold so in order to do that is very very simple what you want to do from the main screen you want to press the s button and you'll see the program number flashing then you press the asterisk button right here next to the power button press that and now you see the 20 flashing you wait you use your up and down arrow keys to um, change it and then press ok change the bottom then press ok and that's it for any other questions you can visit magicwandcompany.com or call us at 877-926-3748 um, to be more um, specific, you could call me, extension 204, or ask for Franklin. Thank you.